In this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement this super looking Gantt chart by David that I found on Reddit to your Power BI reports. I'm going to show you how you can set it up using Deneb and how you can easily modify and customize this to use your own data. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So before we start, I just wanted to give a quick credit to David for posting this really cool solution in Reddit for a Gantt chart solution for Power BI. And the reason is that Power BI doesn't really provide a kind of built-in Gantt chart visual in Power BI and the ones that I found in the app source, either you know you have to pay for or not as robust as the one that he's created here. So really kudos to you, David, for making this available for us to you know kind of use and implement ourselves. If you guys want to check out this solution as well as the other solutions that David has uh, using Deneb, I'll leave a link to his GitHub uh, page, which has all of you know his other projects. So first, I'm going to show you how you can download and kind of start playing around with it yourself in Power BI Desktop. So from here or from the link in the descriptions, I'll, I will give you a link to the GitHub page, which will take you to, as I mentioned, his other uh, works here. But we're just going to look for the Gantt chart one. And we want to download the Gantt PBIX file. There are a bunch of other files here as well that you can download. But just to see how this works in Power BI Desktop, we're just going to download this one, Gantt.PBIX. So we're going to click on it and then click Download Raw File, which will let us uh, save it in our desktop here. And uh, we're also going to download the sample data here because we want to use and kind of update this later just to show you how we can modify it. So uh, download raw file here and uh, hit save. So now that we have both of these files in our local machine, we can open up the Gantt file first of all. And here we go. So here is basically the Gantt charts in Power BI desktop for us to see and use. So as you can see in this page, if I select on it, it's basically just one visual and with all of these values from this just one table. So the table itself is not too complicated. I just want to show you what uh, drives the Gantt chart itself. As you can see, there are a bunch of things here like ID, phase, task, and a lot of these things drive the Gantt chart itself. So Gantt charts are typically used for project management and it gives sort of project managers some insights on the progress of your project based on different tasks in the schedule. So here we have a bunch of different tasks organized by phases. I believe you have a start date and end date for each of these tasks, how long that is in days and the progress of these individual tasks. In the Gantt chart itself, as you can see, there are a bunch of things here that it's it's showing. Each column here is a day in the month. Everything that is colored in dark gray is uh, weekends. And then we have a bunch of different things here. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so that we can see a little bit easier. First thing that you will notice is this line here, or rather this uh, this rectangle area here, which basically encompasses every single task in that phase. So this is, for example, the initiation phase, and it gives you the kind of the range of that phase from start to finish. And within that phase, there are multiple tasks for each of these so requirements gathering, stakeholder workshop. So those um, should be within this range of that phase. Within each of them, there is a sort of progress bar that shows you kind of what is the progress of that phase or that individual task, which is really handy to see if you want to sort of measure how far you are from completion, if that is something measurable to you. You also find these diamonds in this, which is essentially just milestones. So they, they are just a point in time tasks or you know activities that needs to be hit at a certain date. And you also notice that there are some lines here. So these are dependencies. So these are arrows that point from one task to another. So dependencies are basically things that are tied to each other. So you can, for example, complete the initiation phase without finishing the storyboarding and the storyboarding can't be finished without finishing the requirements gathering. So that's how you would read this. And obviously there are a bunch of other phases here, um, just differently color coded. 
and uh, all of these are defined using this table data that we have right here. So now that is pretty much a rundown of what the Gantt chart is and how to read this sort of Gantt chart visual that we have now in this uh, Power BI file. Let's have a look at the visual itself. So when we click it, uh, you will notice that it's uh, powered by Deneb. So Deneb is essentially a custom visual that lets developers kind of write their own code um, using the JSON syntax of of Vega and Vega Lite languages. Now, Deneb is something that I covered in a previous video. So if you wanted to check it out, just to give you a quick overview of Deneb, you can check it out. I'll leave a link somewhere in the video here. And what you'll notice is that uh, if I hit edit here, it will show us a bunch of things here. So this is how the sort of the Deneb custom visual looks like. So Deneb is, is not just for Gantt chart. It basically just lets you write your own visuals if you know how to write it which will be here on the left hand side. So it's using the JSON kind of syntax. So if you're familiar with JSON, this will be kind of, you know, something that you probably will understand. And uh, you'll see a preview of your data here at the bottom and then a preview of your visual here in the middle. So typically where you would need to format or change your field mapping is here, um, editing your specification for field mapping. So for each of these original fields, you kind of basically map it to the data in your data model or whatever you have in these values. So, and then you would just hit apply mapping here and close. However, to be completely transparent with you, it didn't really work for me when I gave it a shot. And I'm also not too well versed on kind of modifying Deneb. So I'm not gonna try to, you know, to explain to you something that I don't understand. But if you're interested in learning, let me know and I will try to understand it myself and explain to you how you can customize it. So let me know in the comment section box below. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can basically modify and uh, link this custom visual to the data that you have. So um, if you go back to the report here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit transform data. And then from here, we're going to go to file options and settings, data source settings, and there should only be just one source here. So we're going to change this source to where the sample data is the one that we downloaded from the GitHub project. So change source, hit browse, and basically it's just this one. So if you hit open here and hit OK and uh, hit close, this table one where it gets its data is now linked to that Excel sheet. So what that means is that if we hit close and load, in the report itself, nothing will change because it's the same file that David used to kind of visualize his demo. But the difference is now we can actually update the file itself. So that means if we go to the sample data file, here is the table that he's created. So maybe we want to change the phase name or you can completely change everything here actually. So maybe we want to change the, the phase to a scoping just as an example or maybe you want to change the completions to all be 100%. So any changes that you make to this table now, you might want to add new phases or even kind of new groupings. You can simply do that from this file. So if you hit close here and hit refresh from here, so there you go. So you can, as you can see, we have updated some of those elements in this Gantt chart without really having to modify Deneb itself. And that's really it for this video. So as I mentioned before, I'm not really a Deneb expert, so I didn't, I know that you might have some questions, um, especially on the Reddit posts around, you know, modifying a few things like, for example, grouping the days on the horizontal bar into months, or maybe just being able to change a few different uh, bits and pieces. But those, unfortunately, Unfortunately, are beyond my skills. However, if you are interested in that kind of content, let me know and uh, I will try my best to understand it myself and teach you guys how to modify it yourself. I just thought to cover this visual just because it's probably the most sophisticated visual for Gantt charts that I have seen in Power BI before. So I thought I'd just cover it and show you guys that, you know, this kind of visualization for Gantt charts is possible using Deneb. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful 
useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't and it'll be better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.